Start your engine. Today we are going to be building stunt cars. Let's get ready to flip, zip, and do some tricks. First things first, let's build the launcher. Let's grab this large wooden piece with the arrow. Make sure the arrow side is up and pointing to the bottom left. Next, grab a large rod and green bolt. Twist them together here. Then attach this wooden launcher part here. Notice that the notch is pointing up when you attach it. Next, use a T-clip to hold it in place. And now, grab a green bolt and twist it on. The green bolt should connect with the T-clip. Now it's time for our first stop and check. Make sure the notch is facing up and towards the blue rod. Make sure the arrow is still facing this way. Attach two green bolts here. Attach this little pill-shaped wooden piece here and use the nuts to hold it in place. All right, let's now place this wooden piece on top. The round end faces this way. Then place this wooden piece here, right above the previous piece. This should lock it in. Make sure the swoop is also facing up. We'll use a T-clip to hold this in place. Next, twist a bolt through here. Make sure it connects with the T-clip. You can use the multi-tool to twist on the bolt. Now, poke through the green bolt, through this hole, and twist on a yellow spacer. Let's stack up the four rubber bands, and we're gonna place these four over the spacer. Time to take the kicker piece and attach it. Grab the kicker piece and place it over the rod and then through the slot here. Place another one of these wooden pieces on top, the round end facing this way. Make sure it fits through the slot up here. Next, use a green bolt and twist it here. Hold the spacers to help twist it in place. Now let's attach these two green bolts here and then put on this little pill-shaped wooden piece. Twist on the two nuts. Time to add another T-clip right here. Okay, now we're gonna grab this large piece with the Kiwiko logo on top. Let's make sure it faces this way up. We're gonna now place this piece on top. Make sure that the tabs fit here and that this hole is aligned to the blue rod. And then use two green bolts to hold in place. Twist them here. Now that you have your sides on, let's flip your launcher over. A tip here is you'd actually push the kicker in. Grab a rubber band, one at a time, and stretch it over this piece. Repeat this for all the rubber bands. You'll notice that my rubber bands are twisted, and that's okay. Next, put these T-clips on opposite sides here. We're gonna now put this wooden piece on top. Make sure that the tabs are fitting and the holes are aligned. Add in the last two green bolts. We're almost there. Twist and tighten all the way down. And now for the final step, push on the launch button. Make sure the bolts go all the way through. And yay, you build a launcher for your stunt cars. And now we're on to part B, making your own stunt cars. I'm really excited for this part. Now for part B, there's a lot of cars to choose from. 
But we're gonna start with this one. We're gonna place the car skin onto one side of the body and we're gonna hold it in place with these axles. Add a set of wheels to one side. Click them into place and then turn it over. And now we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Let's add the car skin, then the axles, and finally the wheels to make a little car sandwich. Now that we've built one, let's build another type of car. First, combine these hubcap pieces with these large foam pieces. We're gonna repeat four times to make four big wheels. Grab these additional pieces for car number two. Add the car skin, then the yellow axles, and finally the wheels. Then we'll repeat for the other side. Now that we have car number two down, let's make one more car. Let's make a silly one. We're gonna first add the hubcaps to four more wheel pieces. Our silly car will be banana skins. Let's add the banana skin, then the blue axles, and again, the wheels. Then we'll do the same for the other side. Ta-da, banana car. Now that you've made your fleet of cars, let's add some stunt drivers. We have three to choose from, or you can make your own. I'm gonna choose our Steve here for the banana car. Let's choose the snail one for the race car. And then the turtle for the monster truck. Of course, you don't have to choose what I chose. Mix them up. Before we go on, let's try it out. First, set up your car in front of your launcher, like so. Now give your launcher a big push. Pretty cool. You can launch your cars one at a time. So let's uh, launch the monster truck. This time, big ol' push, there it goes. And then finally, the banana car, my favorite. Set it up and then boom. There's a lot of games to play with this. One of my favorites is just seeing which goes the farthest. So we'll just use tape to mark where each car is and then figure out which one won. And finally, part C. Let's make a ramp for the stunt cars. Grab the base, peel off the film of the four blue foam pieces, and attach these foam pieces to each corner. Now flip this piece over and attach the yellow stand. Take a green bolt and twist it into place from the bottom. Then take the hoop strip and press one end onto one side of the stand. You might have to press really hard. Now fold the hoop over so it creates a circle and press hard on the other side. You might have to press a lot harder than you think. Make sure you hear the click on both sides. If it's too hard to push in, don't be afraid to call an adult. Now that you have all the elements, let's set everything up. Be sure to set up on a smooth surface and put the open crate in front of your launcher. Next. We'll use the checker tape to tape down this flap so the ramp is as flat as possible. Next, we'll take the hoop and place it right inside the open crate. And now it is time to finally launch. Three, two, one. Oh, success. <laughs> now that you've finished building, let's customize your stunt car. We have some examples here from the Kiwiko Car Show. We've got draw your own driver with the bumper. We've got two connected together. And here are some wacky ideas for wheels. You can also customize your hoop with this ring of fire or make your own cars. And once you have finished customizing your stunt car, it's time to set up stunt challenges. For example, you can set up a line of dominoes and see how many you can jump over. Or you can set up a house of cards and try and crash through them. You can also launch multiple cars at once. I'd recommend two to start. Finally, you could try and land on a target. 
Those are only some ideas, but if you make up your own, let us know. You might notice that your cars are pulling off some awesome moves. Now, how are they doing that? Well, there's actually some cool science and engineering happening here. If your stunt car has plastic wheels that are hard and smooth, they'll help your car move in a straight line and fast. Now, if your car's wheels are foam and soft and springy, they squish and stretch, then snap back into place. That's called elasticity. The more elastic the wheel, the more bounce you'll get. If your car has short axles, it'll keep your car rolling straight and steady. Perfect for high-speed launches. But if your car has long axles, they come in handy too. They give your car room to wiggle and drift. Thanks for building along. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Now, one final stunt launch. I'll see you next time. <gasps> oh. <laughs> you, wait. <laughs> We've got draw your own driver with a bumper bot. <laughs> the bumper. <laughs> Quick, here's some fun facts about race stunt cars. Quick, here's some facts about. Quick. Mm.